Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to do a video on shallow diving crankbaits and choosing between a flat sided version and a wider body version. Um, both of these crankbaits are really, really good. They can be effective under certain circumstances and they do uh, overlap a little bit. You can use these in, in place of each other in, in certain circumstances too, but there are uh, situations where we're gonna wanna use one over the other. So let's discuss the differences between these two different baits and what situations I'm going to choose one over the other. All right, so first off, let's take a close look at these two crankbaits. Um, the, the, uh, the differences are pretty obvious. Uh, first off, we've got the flat sides on this one. Uh, Flat-sided crankbaits are generally uh, going to have a much tighter wobble, um, so it's gonna be a little bit more of a subtle presentation. Uh, a lot of times you're gonna see that these crankbaits also have the bill coming uh, a little bit uh, straighter off of the, uh, the, the nose of the bait instead of more of an angle. And then the wider body uh, crankbaits, of course they have a wide body, they have a, a lot of action to them, a wide wobble, and, uh, and a lot of them have the bill kind of going at a, a slightly more uh, downward angle. Um, but that's not necessarily the main difference because you can have a, a wide body one that has a bill coming relatively straight off the, the nose too. So the bill angle is not something we're really going to focus on too much in this video, uh, but really it's, it's of course you know the action that they they have and also the buoyancy generally flat sided crankbaits are going to be much less buoyant than their their wider bodied brothers um, because uh, the these are going to have a lot more material whether they're plastic or wood and so they're going to be naturally more buoyant so uh, those are the the main differences and uh, so let's talk about what situations to use one over the other all right so let's start off with the sh the flat side Sided crankbait. Uh, flat sided crankbait again has a more subtle, tighter wobble and has less buoyancy. So, really, I like to use a flat sided crankbait uh, earlier in the season when the water is at, at its coldest. That's really when I reach for the flat sided versus a wider crankbait uh, because those fish, uh, you know, all the bait fish are, are pretty lethargic. They have a much more subtle action to them. And so, I want my bait to have the same type of action. So, a flat sided Side of crankbait does really good when it's cold and also clearer water situations. Usually it's it's cold and clear so those those two things have to kind of be present um, for me to be throwing a flat sided. Now you can throw this in stained water too. Uh, flat sided crankbaits actually put off a lot of vibration because the the flat sides actually push a lot of water uh, even though it has a very narrow uh, a wobble generally. So um, you know it, it's it's not necessarily just a clear water bait. Uh, I use it in a lot of dirty water situations too. Um, another thing that's really important to remember about the, the uh, flat sided crankbaits is again, they're less buoyant, so you don't want to be fishing them around uh, real heavy cover. Uh, one thing that's really important with a crankbait that's fished around cover is the ability to, once it hits that, that object, whether it's hardwood or, or grass, once it hits that object, to float up and away from that cover. And uh, these baits just don't do a good enough job of that for fishing around extremely heavy cover, you can still do it. And if you're really good at throwing these crankbaits, you can you can kind of feel your way around the cover and, uh, and you can catch a lot of fish doing them, uh, but they're not as efficient as a wider body bait for that situation. So because of the lack of buoyancy with these baits in general, I like to fish them, uh, you know, on a cleaner bottom, gravel, shell, uh, you know, rocky bank, things like that, this is gonna work really, really well. So that's the, those are the type of situations I'm gonna be throwing the uh, flat side crankbait. All right, so the wider body crankbaits, this is actually a, a bait that's extremely versatile. I use a wider body crankbait, I'd say, 80% of the time because I could throw them all year round. Uh, you know, if I had to choose one crankbait, it would be, you know, a wider body square bill like like this, you know, or 2.5 or 1.5 or something like that. Uh, they're gonna work really well all the time, um, but they excel in situations where you want a, a more, uh, you know, a, a more 
pronounced action, so to speak. So you want more action, that wider wobble, you know, fish that are, are real active and and uh, and want that bait fish, you know, acting erratically and, and moving real wide uh, patterns. Uh, that's when you're gonna be wanting to use the wide bodied uh, crankbait. And also situations where you're fishing heavier cover. If I'm fishing vegetation or wood, uh, I want this bait to, to rise up, just like I said before. And because they're so buoyant, especially if they're made of, of wood, like cedar or, or balsa, they have a lot of buoyancy to them. So uh, they do rise to the surface very, very quickly, which is exactly what you want when you're fishing around that type of cover. You want it to kind of back away from that cover so you can start the retrieve again. So situations where you want more action and you want to fish it around soft cover, such as vegetation or hard cover, such as lay downs or, or any type of wood, that's when you're going to want to fish the 1.5 over the, the, the uh, flat side crankbait. And also, you know, warmer water situations, these baits tend to get the nod. So uh, that right there is my selection process for choosing one over the other. So before we wrap the video up, one other thing that I want to mention, um, you know, is that it's so important. And I say this all the time when we're talking about crankbaits to change out those treble hooks, you know, whether you have good treble hooks on there to begin with, and then they dull out through use of the crankbait, or if you've got a stock bait that just needs sharp, you know, a premium trebles, it's really important to keep a bunch of treble hooks on hand. Um, but one of the reasons why I, I wanted to mention this in this video is because it's really important to switch out the hooks on a crankbait with hooks that, that are, are not gonna, uh, you know, inhibit the action of this bait. Now with a wide body crankbait, you can switch out the hooks and, and, and upsize real easily. It's probably not going to affect the, the action of the bait. The wider, you know, action generally tends to handle those, those heavier and bigger hooks a little bit better. So sometimes if I'm, I'm using a four, if the original hooks are a four on a, a crankbait, I can actually go up to, you know, a size two or something like that, a much bigger one. Now with a, uh, flat sided crankbait, it's really important to uh, choose hooks that are about the same size as the stock one because the action is already really subtle um, and it doesn't have a whole lot of buoyancy. You don't want to change the action of the bait too much. You can test it out and and uh, and see if you can use bigger hooks, but generally I'm going to be using the same exact size hooks that were on the crankbait to begin with from the manufacturer. So just a point to, to remember, um, the hooks that I generally like to use are the TBL 930s from Hayabusa. I really like the NRB coating on these hooks, especially early season where those fish tend to swipe at those those baits because it has like this this coating, you know, that's that's called the NRB coating, but it's it's similar to like Teflon on a frying pan. It's super slick. It allows you to, to get a really good hook penetration very, very quickly on top of the, the sharpness of the hook. So I like to use that one a lot, but Overall, uh, it's it's really just important to change the hooks and to change the hooks with the right size hooks uh, based on what type of bait you're using. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. If you like these videos, keep me motivated to do more of these. And I look forward to seeing you on the water. Take care.